Hello my friends and welcome to Regiments, which uh, is published by Microprose. Would you believe it? They're back. Those of you who are old school gamers will definitely remember Microprose. Well, they're actually working on quite a few games at the moment, which is like they've just come out of nowhere. Anyway, they sent me a, uh, an early copy of Regiments. And just before we get this first impressions underway, they said that uh, the balance is not completely done yet, and also there may be spoilers. So uh, there you go. Those those are your uh, your two disclaimers for this first impressions. We have tutorial, skirmish, operations, Regipedia. Okay, so operations is probably where the campaign goes. You can skip the introduction. Let's not skip the introduction. June 30, first front-wide ceasefire. An almost a month a bit of bit of chaotic fighting. A breath of respite from mauled regiments and brigades on both sides of the former Iron Curtain. I know nothing about this game. It just it just dropped it just dropped into my lap on Saturday. And they were like, you can put it up on your channel. So here I am. Okay. So it's World War Three. I'm going to presume, that's going on right now. It all started with a skirmish not that far from the border. I hope that they... <clears throat> and I know it's a cliche. But I hope that they get the effort... Go to the effort of getting some grizzled person to uh, read all this out because I just hate reading text early on in a game and get some some grunty detective in here or something <laughs> stereotypical June 30 first front wide ceasefire in almost a month of bitter and chaotic fighting <laughs> something like that but you know actually good <laughs> all right to operation oh wow look see We got we got more tech more uh, more text more wall of text. Okay, so there's a rebellion going on in Germany, I guess. It's open revolt. Your, your 16th Panzer Regiment will start the operation right away as the rest of our 7th Panzer Division is still stuck in traffic jams and unruly crowds. I don't know if they're going to have an introductory video or something as well. So far it all just seems to be text. You can adjust the values of everything. More time. Phases last 30 minutes. Events will be hidden and selected randomly. Once in two phases, extra negative event happens. Interesting. Let's just plunge. Should we just plunge straight in on the hardest difficulty? Let's go with hard. Just for... Uh, just because I'm not sure what I'm getting into here. <clears throat> Okay, we have Operation Authority, can be converted into other kinds of points. Okay, we have Recon Element, two Tank Elements, two Mechanized Infantry, I'm going to presume that it comes with a Rifleman, in fact it says so underneath. A Sani Mortar Carrier. That's a weird bit of kit. Shilaka. When the planes fell. <laughs> a helicopter element and a supply element. So we've got supplies in this.
Okay, so I guess buying a reinforcement element costs points. And you get points for winning the mission. So, I presume that you want to not waste your points on calling in extra units. Increase the amount of platoons you can have on the field simultaneously. Allows the use of tech aids more often. Used for repairs and rearmament. Okay, let's not spend any money for now. The chaos of war distilled down to a few key events, but what was the order? I guess these are rolled randomly. Let's go with the extra reconnaissance card. All right, let's go. There's quite a lot of setup. There was a tutorial button and I did ignore it, so. But I've always thought that a single player campaign is should always just you should always just be able to drop into a single player campaign and uh, you know moderately competent players should be able to just play New objective <clears throat> An operations combat is divided into 20 minute phases. Objectives on the map can be completed over several phases plan accordingly. Hold Leprak West, hold Leprak East. I guess these units are not mine, right? These are, uh, these are allies. So in this phase I have, oh man, look at the zoom out I can get here. So my units deploy from here, it would seem. Ah, you can toggle which units you're going to use, using your deployment points. Makes sense. Okay, let's reconnoiter this position. We'll approach this, and this position looks quite exposed, so. Right. <clears throat> Since it seems like we have a lot of area to cover, and it's mostly open area, I think we'll stick with vehicles for this. Let's take two tanks and the reconnaissance team. We'll take the anti-air because I don't like flying surprises. 
Man, the chopper crew is like 175. In fact, the rifles are pretty inexpensive. We can take everything but the choppers. Okay. My units have been deployed. I guess the voices aren't in yet. This uh, game is nearing completion though, so maybe there's just not going to be voices. I don't know. Sound is, uh, you know, as someone who works in game development, sound is like the last thing that goes in usually, so. Apart from some placeholder sounds. Okay, look, there is some sound. Where would be the best place to reconnoiter the village from? I'd say here. Well, I would say that the rifle teams can probably use this area. Tanks on the edge here, covering the wide open space. And another tank on the edge here, covering wide open space. Supply team can just wait here. Mortar can probably find a position near the village. If this area is clear, I'd probably dismount the infantry and follow the trees into the town. That would be the best way to deal with it. Let's go. Like there's mortar crews over there. I'm not quite sure how supplies work. Wow, what a surprise, the village is infested. Now, my real question is, how do I unload these boys? Either way, I've got them pinned in, but I, uh... Do not have an unload button on the, uh, on the unit card change mode. Ah, change mode does it. Get your ass, get your asses out. Whoa, 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 what is that? Thing there? don't know if the um, supply truck would uh, would really get anything done for me. 
Let's go infantry. We'll send these. Uh, we'll send these tanks over to this ridge line here. I'm not quite sure about what their effective range is here. All oh, right, the mortar crew has got massive range. That's uh, that's well impressive. I don't really have a range circle for my units. Like they're quite clearly shooting at that incredible distance. Okay, that's an allied unit, it's not mine. Okay, tanks. Zone captured. The tanks have not spotted anything yet. I'm pretty sure that this area is clear. Get them, boys. Why are you driving right up to them? Man, they really are quite short range. Here, take some disapproval. Okay. If I select a ton of units and there's a ridge line, I actually want them to use all use the ridge, ridge line. Man, they're taking a lot of damage and holding on. Looks like my allies over there are holding on for the most part. If you're going to sit there, then I will happily uh, punish you for it. What 
esa. Tosti. <laughs> Do I get more units at some point? Can I draw extra cards? Zone captured. Yes and not. But the mission is only to uh The mission is only to defend this group. seem to be holding okay. Man, that mortar... mortar artillery is shooting at stuff all the time. <laughs> sit somewhere where I can see them, but not actually need to engage. I shouldn't really send the tank in first, I should send the infantry in first, but I feel like time is running out. I'm almost behind the enemy here. Actually drive backwards. Fall back. Something's getting me from up here. I'm wondering if my units die, I get replacements, which I have to buy, but that I get them. Oh man, the actual supply truck repairs. That's pretty sweet. Right, what we'll do is we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the infantry behind as the owner occupier of this tile, and we'll bring all of our units back to work on the other side. out by carrying to drop uh, by continuing to drop stuff on on the enemy here what is that it's rifleman it's rifleman I'm 
the mortar team is definitely going to be the right move here. Those riflemen out in the open should be easy for my tanks to, to destroy. Yep. Setting up the firing solution for Hill 90. I think this high position here is probably the ideal position to then engage onto these two areas. Okay, it looks like that guy is running for his life. Zone captured. Okay, someone is smoking this area. You wouldn't believe how little I care about that. Alright, let's just go and get him in a mad death charge. Come on, boys. Doesn't seem to be any limit to how much I can uh, bring the pain, so. Come on, Tonks, get in there. How long does it take to kill some unsupported infantry? I wonder if there's a way to attack while moving forward. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. We've now got access to our allies. Radio intercept reports an attack with one to three platoons involved. I just scanned that and I didn't Five see anything. Minutes remaining. Seventy-five for that one. Ooh. Helps on the way. Zone captured. waiting for my supply truck to start dishing out the supplies, what's left of them. Nice suppression. Alright, 
Supplies are done. Let's go. Good thing I left this unit here to occupy the area. You're okay. You're actually winning this battle right now. Just stay in the smoke. I mean, that's artillery, isn't it? Like, what is this doing so close? No, that's the, um... Zone lost! Ah! Oh. She sounds so disappointed in you. These idiots are taking a hell of a lot of damage though for destroying one unit. Ah, it recovers in a minute. You can buy it back. Zone captured. Okay, this is quite the push. How about you stay the hell out of my town? Okay. These units are not really moving to their most effective positions. Remaining. One minute remaining. Don't know if there's a way to resupply my truck. My supply truck seems to be done. Rifleman plus AT. Well, we held the two objectives which we, were, which we were supposed to be holding. Oh, Jeebus. Alright, phase one complete. Victory points 50, objectives controlled 8. I've... I, uh... Exacted a vicious toll on the enemy here. I like 4 to 1. I lost 11 vehicles, they lost 50. Alright, oh, not bad. Next phase, okay.
Okay, so we can restore some units. Extra T fifty five A, an extra HQ. It's like a performance booster, APC. Oh man, this thing comes with napalm. Sure, why not? Level 1. Level 2, it comes with a T72. And at level 3, it comes with some other bits and pieces. Let's go and increase the amount of units we can deploy. A perfectly normal day of slaughter. Objective received. Okay, so it remembers everything that we took from last time. The objective remains the same. Hold the positions. My supply truck is still where it was before. In fact, pretty much all of my units are still where they were before. Let's go ahead and deploy the HQ. Alright. I do not have the recon this time. But. Where's my reconnaissance? Okay. I know for a fact that that hill is infested. So. In fact, I'd almost be tempted to just literally napalm it. It's a little bit irritating that you cannot order units to all use a ridgeline simultaneously. This is actually a high ground position as well, which is quite nice.
I'd really love to see circles of effectiveness. Like, I want to, you know, I'd really like to see how far. Okay, they could be coming from over there. You know what? Oh, yeah, what a surprise. Unleash the dudes. Oh, the dudes are already unleashed. Well, there goes my tank. Just BDRs with fire support. yesterday. Napalm those bad boys. Unfortunately all my heavy fire support is dead so... That's a lot of regiments. Fast move, go. That's a lot of units. Like, that's, uh. That's an incomprehensibly large amount of units. hard to know how much how much range everything has got that is a lot of units
I'm like waiting the incomprehensibly long time for my tanks to get to the front line here. Man, would you look at that. Right, go. While they're suppressed. See that that whole group is coming this way. <sighs> Whatever that was, it shoots far and it was accurate. It looks like there's some delay on units following your orders. feeding the enemy my units right now. Once you start losing units, I think there's very little hope of recovering. Going around the edge here. Lost. Man, we got pushed back by like a huge number of enemies.
All my units are back. New objective received. Zone lost. I don't actually see any new objectives. Wow, they have a lot of units. New objective received. I better deal with this before I deal with that. Okay, I mean, I have a wide surveil of capability here. Guys, just able to just walk around in my uh, like we actually have a flank on them. I actually have complete surround on these guys, but they're not dying. Five minutes remaining. Okay. New objective received. Zone lost. New objective received. I gotta get over there and retake the primary objectives. I have 920 supplies, but it doesn't seem obvious how you get those supplies onto your supply truck. Tank regiments. I mean, I'm not even allowed to have three. Uh, three uh, tank divisions, I guess. Sorry.
Well, the infantry got to the ridge line without too much trouble. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units. Feeling very, uh, One minute remaining. All right, well, phase two did not go very well, did it? We started kind of close to the enemy's reinforcement point and they just spawned a ton of units and killed us with them. a retreat button. Dot, the trucks are reversing away. <laughs> For some reason they are retreating in reverse. Okay, so that was awful. <laughs> but it gives me some insight into the game, for sure. I would presume that what you would do here is you would retry. The enemy are definitely not playing by the same rules as you. They've got a lot more stuff than you have. Maybe you'd be wise to just spend all your operational points some um, new objective received. Uh You'd probably be better off spe spending all of your operational points on um having larger regiment size. giant assault that just sort of appears here is uh, definitely a problem. I 
I was thinking, you know, that I should go ahead and attack. But that was a mistake. Should probably just sit here in the farm tile and try and blunt the assault that we know is coming. Cut all the choppers! You hear the constant noise of fighting, but you don't actually... There's no fighting going on. I'm kind of not a fan of that. I am one of those gamers that very much relies on sound cues. For what is going on. Can this thing actually fly? Can they fly backwards? No. Okay, there's an attack coming with two to four involved. That's not that bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run! Return them to base for repairs. They know I'm home. Surely that artillery is going to stop at some point. Well, that was not good. Okay, somehow my choppers got shot down on their way back to base. Which is a bit of a mystery to me. used reverse move there, but whatever. Supply trucks do not actually have any supplies. What the hell is that? Rocket. We got a... Rocket anti tank.
Okay, these guys are not gonna live. If <laughs> they don't get out of there. They blatantly have heavy artillery. Like, not just call-ins, but actual proper heavy artillery units that can just sit at the supply territory and shoot. Scout cars have actually super dug in. Okay, the only units I have is a pair of tanks. Maybe I'm operating too close to the enemy, like that artillery may have some some range limitation. Zone lost. It's definitely hard to make decisions on where to position your guys when there's no uh There's seemingly no range. I don't want to get involved in fighting the enemy there. Not when they're going to just run in and take the primary objectives if I don't get over there. Zone lost. You know what? They're actually really bunched up here. Could result in some very serious casualties. Alright boys, time to be heroes. Main ammo, 35%. To the tree line. Got to the chopper! You better get out of there if you've got no ammo. Once again, the AI is bunching up really badly. It's just that their sheer volume of numbers. I can just hold them still for a bit. This is the group that hasn't got anti tank weapons, this is the one that does. So, they're kind of a sacrifice, really.
Oof, nice hit. Nice, We've got a lot of casualties inflicted on the enemy there for very little outlay. Go smoke them. Okay, the hell when you tell a unit to retreat, it actually retreats off the map completely. So that's what was going on there. So I just told them to retreat, because they had no ammo left. They actually retreated off the map and I got the points back. Which means that I could then redeploy something else if I wanted to. But I didn't want to deploy something else. Those are tanks, aren't they? Okay, we're really blunting the spear of the enemy here. In fact, this recon team be useful over here. Maybe I can take one of these two areas. I know that that area is infested, so I'm just going to drop artillery on it. Return to base for ammunition. Supply truck is back. Back again. Tell a friend. Are you going to land? Can I force you to land? Okay, they're being rearmed despite the fact that they're still flying. Go boys, I've got a tank to get rid of. It looks like during this phase the enemy just really gets in your business. Five minutes remaining. Oh, nice shot. Don't let him get away. Good work. I wonder if we can uh, load from supplies 
from the uh, chopper directly. I think our biggest issue is we push too far into the enemy on the first phase. And I think if you get too close, they've got artillery support at the back somewhere to really prevent you from winning this mission early. Can we reload from the supply truck? Yes, we can. Oh, they've dug trenches. They've dug foxholes in the road. <laughs> wow, this guy must have like an adamantium spade. Right, let's re... Let's see if we can retake this high ground and grab that facility. During the dying moments of this mission. I don't have any spares of this left. Hold back, hold back. Run, chopper, run. Get the tank. Oh, their tanks are panicking. Alright, let him go. Get the rifleman. This artillery rain is a serious problem. Look at how many friggin' artilleries they've got. Damn it. There's an issue with supply trucks. They don't move unless you command them individually. Alright, the chopper got away. We can bring it straight back. Oh, there goes an artillery unit. Supply trucks, come on, supply trucks. Okay, that was much better. I actually got a favorable trade on red here despite their incredible numbers all right well i think i've overstayed my welcome here for a first impressions video 
It looks like the AI gets a lot of units, so I would presume that your correct move with your operational authority early on is to just crank up your deployment points. That's, uh, that's my thoughts. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's certainly an interesting game. I presume that after four phases or whatever, you just win. 50, 100, 150, 200. I guess there's something else you need to do to... Uh, Oh, phase two attack, phase three attack. So I guess the first two phases are to defend, more or less. And the last two phases are to go on the attack and clean out the map. And since you're forced to use every one of these cards, you probably don't want to deal with this one in the last phase. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.